Hi, this is Scott Kilos here, 6 Delta Alpha Yankee, also WRTI 407, because today we're back with the Ocean KG 935 Golf, and for today we're going to be uh, doing another installment in the Operator series of videos for this radio. Uh, staying within the theme of SCAN, well, what I'm going to be doing today isn't strictly related to SCAN. It does provide you a very important SCAN function that you might find useful. So what we're going to be talking about is programming the two programmable side keys on the side of the radio. Now, Ocean calls this PF1 and PF2, or Programmable Function 1, Programmable Function 2. Other, other radio companies call them things like SK, etc. But it's your, your two programmable buttons. And you have two buttons, and for each button you can assign two functions, one on short press, one on long press. So a short press would be typified by just a short uh, bump of the button, and a long press would be holding it down for a second or more. And you can uh, set up each one for, of course, two different things. Now, if you go to page 42 of the manual for the KG 935 Golf, I don't know what page this would be on for the 935 Golf Plus. Hopefully it's the same page. But it'll lay out between page 42 and 43 all of the different things that you can program into those keys. Now, I'm not going to go through all of these individually, um, but grab your manual and take a look at some of these. You might find something you find particularly useful, but really the only things that I find uh, fairly useful out of this are going to be scan, flashlight, money, and CTC scan. That's what I have programmed in. So as an example, I'll show you how to set those up and talk about what they do. So... What we're going to be looking at is we're going to go to menu and we're going to be going to item number 31. So I'm already there. So 31 uh, gives us our first option. So this would be PF1. That's the upper button. And this will be the short press, which is just, just going to be a momentary press. What I like to put there is scan. So I press there. And of course, you can rotate through all of the different features. But we're already on scan because that's what's in the radio. Um, but you would make that selection, press menu again, and then, of course, exit. Now, Getting to PF, um, PF1 long press, um, here what I like to do and what I have on here is CTC scan. So again, you can select whatever you would want on here, but CTC scan is what I would want. So I press menu and exit. And what CTC scan allows you to do, and, and actually scan is, let me go back to my first thing, of course. Um, scan is pretty self-explanatory. Just a short press starts my scan, easy to find, easy to access and a short press cancels the scan. You can also cancel the scan by pressing PTT, but it's better practice to do something that doesn't transmit at the same time. And then CTC scan. If I were to, for instance, want to know what is the CTCSS tones assigned to a particular repeater, I'd go to that repeater and park there. Don't, don't put it on scan, just stay right on that repeater and listen for message traffic. When you hear message traffic, you would long press uh, CTC scan, and what it'll do is it'll start scanning while that uh, while that message traffic is being passed. Now, if it drops out, the scan will stop. The moment it starts up again, it'll start right where it left off, and it'll eventually return the CTCSS tones that are that are assigned to that particular repeater. Now, they might be also using DCS. Some people like to get creative with how they set their repeaters up to make it a little more challenging to get onto a repeater. That's kind of an a-hole move when people do that, when they use like a CTC for, for transmit and a DCS for receive or vice versa. Um, it's just to trip people up and keep, make it a little bit more difficult to set up for their repeater. Um, but there may also be a valid reason for that. Um, if someone knows, let me know, but I've never, I've never determined why someone would want to use CTCSS one way and DCS the other, but it's done. Um, but in this case, as I said, if you were, let's say traveling and you encountered a, an active GMRS repeater and you didn't know the tones for it, that's a good way of finding out what the tones are for. Uh, kind of eliminates my GMRS.com, but eh, that's another story entirely. Uh, so now moving on to PF2, which is going to be the, the lower key here. Again, we'll hit that and we'll go to PF2 short press. Now for this, the factory default is already flashlight and I'm kind of happy with that right where it's at. And then for long press, it's going to be money, and I'm happy with that as well, so I didn't make any changes there. Um, but with flashlight, of course, I just short press that button, and I get my little flashlight, and I short press it to turn it off. And then, of course, a long press gives me money, and a long press turns it off. Now, if you're not familiar with what money is, all that does is just removes any applied squelch to the channel or frequency. 
that you're uh, listening to, and you'll hear whatever is coming in on that frequency. So it's a good thing if you're hearing, for instance, some very distant traffic, maybe something's kind of choppy and it keeps dropping out because of your squelch settings. Uh, you can, of course, go in there and just eliminate those, and you can hear whatever the raw traffic coming through is. And sometimes you hear some very interesting things sneaking in through the static. It's kind of kind of interesting. So, uh, But those are... Uh, some really quick programmable keys that you can program in on that. And then related to this, there, there's something that I wanted to talk about in terms of, of scan. <clears throat> and one thing this radio will do, and let me see if I can, if I can set it up here. Let me, um, let me real quick hit TDR and let's hit band and let's hit scan. Now this is law enforcement channels here. And I, what I want to do is pick up an active channel because one thing this radio does, it's a little annoying. Um, other radios, if a, if scan stops on a particular uh, channel or frequency and, and you don't really, you're not interested in the traffic that's there, you can advance the scan just by turning the channel knob or hitting the up down arrow keys. Most of the radios I have do that. This radio will not. So if I turn it, it doesn't go anywhere. But if I double press the scan key, it takes off. So that was a nice little setup there. But yeah, turning that knob, you're going nowhere. You're stuck on that channel. Uh, so I discovered a really quick way is just use that side key because it's a short press. Just double tap it and it'll advance the scan and you can get right past that traffic and you're not having to listen to it. So just thought I'd throw that out as a, as a bonus tip. But with that, I will go ahead and um, let me stop my scan here. I'll bring it to a close. Thank you for watching and or listening. And up next, we'll uh, probably be talking about setting up uh, priority channels for priority scan. So uh, with that, look for that uh, next uh, installment to come out very soon. So I thank you very much for watching and for listening. This is Scott, Kilo CR6, Delta Alpha Yankee, also WRTI407 in Visalia, California. Have a wonderful day.